What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode four of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Blind Let's Play. Um, a re if you guys are randomly joining us on episode four, I would advise you maybe start at episode one or at our prologue episode zero. But just to fill you in on what's going on, uh, this is a blind let's play, so I have gone spoiler free. Uh, for the months leading up to this game, so I know very little about it. Check out the prologue to learn a little bit more about that. Quick five minute video, and um, if you want to see any of the episodes prior, check them out in the playlist, which will be linked uh, below on my channel to this video. If you're liking the the series so far, show me some love, give me some thumbs up, maybe a, maybe a subscribe if you haven't already. But uh, to fill you guys in, we ended off episode three. Uh, we just got given our Rotom Dex, so for some reason the Pokedex is a Rotom in this game. I think that's a fun idea, but I hope it's also not obnoxious. So we're going to kind of play around with this a little bit. If you click on Rotom, he smiles, which is great. If you need some help, give me a little poke in the middle of my map, but not too hard. <laughs> cool. Give me a little poke in the middle of the map. Okay, that's... I did that. Okay, so I guess you just sort of see beneath. And I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of, I'm, what I'm doing right here is I'm looking at the map at the, you guys can see at the bottom left of the screen. That's my bottom screen and I'm kind of exploring there. We're seeing dots and stuff. How come when I face that way, it darkens? Is that because there's a sign? Trainer tips. Or is it because there's a battle that I could be had? Looks like a battle. She wants me to check out her cute Pokemon. It's probably a Pichu. Maybe uh, maybe two Pichus. No, it's just one. Wingle. She thinks Wingle is a cute Pokemon. Wingle is kind of cute, actually. And becomes Pelipper. And I heard... Uh, I heard Pelipper is uh, kind of a beast. Uh, how goodness gracious me. So she lands the supersonic. So I am confuddled. Do not hit yourself in the face, please. I go for the disarming voice. Because I don't want to hit him with something that's not very effective. And we're going to hit him with one more and hope that I don't hit myself in confusion. She's going to go for the water gun, which I resist. This is just amazing. Do not hit yourself in confusion. Thank genus. You got him, little P, man. It is 3 a.m. I am exhausted. <laughs> Hi, you're kind of strong, aren't you? Uh, I don't know if you know this, but the soul of Geo is uh, is a former six... No, no, because all the other generations... Like, 12-time Elite Four champ? I don't even know. So there's a sign over here, and I want to read it, but I bet it's just saying that I can't... A powerful Pokemon could break that? 10 Carat Hill. That's great. I'm kind of curious if you can, like, swipe... Okay, so I, ty I guess I hit him... That time I hit him correctly. So what we see... We brought up the schools, we can kind of look at the map. And see things. Why to zoom in and kind of look around the map. I see Melee Melee Island. You can hover over each of the regions, as you can see in the bottom left. It'll put a little yellow circuit around them. So there's the Mahalo Trail in Icky Town. This is Route One. I'm just kind of looking around Route One to see if it provides me with any additional information. Icky Town, Route 1. This is still Route 1 they're talking here. <clears throat> talking about 10 Carat Hill. Talking about the tentacle. A uh, little kid in the grass. He's got all uh, grass type Pokemon. And uh, there is a little grass here. And I'm going to get into a little battle here. 
and we are gonna see a wingle and you know I'm getting in on this wingle game I already have a water type so I don't really need it but uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to fill out some pokedexes here low P I'm worrying that it might be getting too strong I don't want him to get too powerful here, but I do want to catch all the Pokemon I can. EXP alls are super useful. I hope that uh, in the in the last generation of the game, they gave it to you really early, and I hope they do that again because it helps me to go through all of the new Pokemon in all these generations. And I do need to level up my other Pokemon besides just Lil P, because Lil P is just gonna sweep this game clean. Wingle's number 40, registered. Congrats, you've registered a Pokemon in your Pokedex. It's a red letter day, and I'm about as red as anything. 5% of the Melee Melee Pokedex, 2% of the Aloha po Alola Pokedex. Uh, fishermen keep an eye out for Wingle in the sky because whenever they're circling in the ocean, it's sure to be teamed with fish Pokemon. Would you like to give a Wingle a nickname? Uh, yeah. We're gonna call this B Gulliver. Gulliver Twist. <laughs> it wouldn't have fit, but that would have been a great name. So, um, man, I'm kind of curious to like run around the grass a little bit more and find out what more Pokemon are there. But for now, I shan't. We can't run up there. What we see is up in the north, there's another uh, item just chilling on the ground. And in this grass here, we're seeing young goose. But we've already got goose chilling in our party, so we do not need young goose. So a little P, hit him with that water gun right quick. Smack him. Two of these should do the tricksy poo. He's gonna hit me with a tackle. Negligible damage. Embarrassing. I wouldn't be happy if I were you, young goose. So we're gonna make this young goose faint. Uh, but I don't feel that bad because apparently he gets exhausted at the end of the day and just falls asleep wherever he is, which is not a great practice. I guess he is a predator, though. We barely didn't make it out of the grass, and we get into another battle. It's another Wingle. So that battle is over. Ooh, we found an Awakening. Very cool. Not really very cool. So we can kind of run around here. I'm just looking to see. So it looks like they do provide you with opportunities to avoid the grass. Um, uh, but not entirely. I know it seems like I'm just running around here, but there's a lot to learn about these new games and the way they design things. So what I'm, one thing I'm trying to see is whether or not they'll allow me to get back up there without hitting any patches of grass, but it would appear as though they do not. This is that trainer tips board, right? Uh, the Pokemon that's the top left of your Pokemon party list is the one that will appear first. That's great. Good, fine, nice, cool, and dandy. And we're going to try and cut through here, and we do not succeed. Another battle. Another battle. Still looking for cool new Pokemon. It's another Young Goose. That's great. And after an uneventful battle, Young Goose goes down. Down, down, down. And we'll continue through here. So, we really haven't done a whole heck of a lot here, and... We see Lily here. She's saying, hold on a moment. She's going to show us the Pokemon Center. So we're still learning. We're still in the early stages of this game. She's going to show us. This is a cool looking Pokemon Center. It looks like a, kind of looked like a cafe to the left and maybe the shop to the right. It is amazing. She can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. That's the PC. Got a little laptop there. A little shop to the right. Pokemart. Okay. And to the left, what's this? Cafe. I like to relax with a Moo Moo Milk. Travel guide. Uh, apparently each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. Okay. May offer more than just drinks. Special treats that sometimes staff have tips for trial goes. Alright, so maybe story arc side quests or Moo Moo Milk or other side items. Non-Mart items on the left. 
We should head to the trainer school next. I agree with that. But let's, uh, I don't really need aid, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Rest my Pokemon for a few seconds. Very good, cool. I really gotta level up some of these Pokemon. Especially the Metapod, I want to evolve that thing and get it out of my team. So I just have it in the decks. Let's check out this cafe. I'm really interested about this. It's 16 o'clock. <laughs> Provide a moment of peace to our customers. What can I get you started with today? Pineapple juice, Moo Moo Milk, and Lemonade. Um, they're all just healing items, I think. I don't know what a pineapple juice is. But, uh... Mama Bruh gave me some pretty good money, so let's buy one pineapple juice just to see. Please enjoy the harmonious tones of sweet and sour that can only be performed by pineapple grown under the Alolan sun. By the way, you're saving your progress. So save often. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. The special the snack specialty of the Shalor City in the Kalos region. So we got a Shalor Sable. Put it in the medicine pocket. And I bought a pineapple juice. We'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. So we got some Poke Beans. Specialty in Alola, and Pokemon love to eat them. Feed them in Pokemon Refresh, and they'll become more affectionate. Okay, so maybe that's a way to increase happiness in this game. Got a gentleman sitting over here. Something about communication features. Doubling happiness. Okay, hold on. If you use communication features to trade Pokemon with a friend, you'll both be happy. It basically doubles... Okay, that's not... They don't actually mean that you're doubling a Pokemon's happiness. Uh, something about PCs for free. Up to six Pokemon on your team. This little kid's probably going to say something about wishing he had enough money to buy something. No, just saying you could buy stuff. Plenty of potions and Pokeballs. Let's have a gander at what he wants to sell me. I'm thinking it's just basic items. I really would love some Pokeballs, and I'm going to do a quick check here. In the past, buying 10 Pokeballs would net you a Premier Ball. I'm going to see if that's still true. There you go. Got him. Uh, so you always buy your Pokeballs in 10s for that, re for that raisin, that exact raisin. So I'm going to buy two sets of 20 balls total. Uh, and I'm going to buy a bunch of repels, actually. Like a whole bunch. So we'll start with 30. Do I have enough to afford that? Looks like it. And uh, a couple of escape ropes. JTBS, just to be safe. Sweet. <clears throat> no, you can't do anything else for me. I actually, no. That's, uh, I'm going to click sell here. Go through a couple of my excess items. See what I got. Antidote. Paralyzed Heal, Awakening. The Shalar Sable, uh, heal all the statuses of one Pokemon. Uh, all of this is to be expected. We got the Z Ring. The Pineapple Juice is gone. So I'm not really sure what the deal was with that. I guess it's just a thing. Just some kind of thing. Just had a thing there. That's fine. So. I love the design of those Pokemon Centers. They have everything under that one building, so no more running around obnoxiously between buildings. I really like that. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is... It's a... What in the, what in the world? <gasps> That's a Tauros! Ah! Well, it looks like we won't be going that way any anytime soon. Thanks to the Tauros there. So we're going to go into the trainer school, it looks like. She's asking us to follow her, so we shall. This is going to say Trainer School. Education that makes your Pokemon smile. In previous games, this has been really basic information about type advantages, where information is on the screen. Uh, Kukui is saying, Hey there, Geo. Must have passed you two somehow, yeah? Well, welcome to the Trainer School, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. This is cool. Uh, this is the child uh, that Kakui told you about, random stranger. Put into the ringer tree. Ooh, okay, four trainers. Got to be four Pokemon trainers here at the school, and the experience will surely help me grow. I agree, Kakui. I agree. So we're going to battle. Yes, okay, so we've got the EXP share. I was just saying. Wasn't I just saying, challengers? I was just saying. 
I don't... Apologies if you guys are really interested in the dialogue here, and I promise I won't skip all dialogue, but... Unless you are brand new to the Pokemon series, a lot of this information is very repetitive. So, once you fought a species once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best in your next battle. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that battle all the time. Oh, yeah! Um, oh, find those four Pokemon trainers. Okay, so this is cool. If you look at the bottom left of the screen, you'll see that Rotom had a little uh, speech bubble pop up. And he, uh, he lets us know. Uh, useful information. Let's go check our key items and see this EXP share. It looks like it's already on. So we can turn it off, but I shan't. Um, so this is going to be useful for allowing me to keep my stronger Pokemon in the headlines. And level up my weaker Pokemon, get some evolutions going, because I wanna I wanna complete that Pokedex. We've got a Pokemon hiding in this corner over here. This is gonna be one of the four trainers, clearly. The teacher told me if I beat them, she'll give me a simple but important lesson. So it looks like this is gonna be a good way for us to get four Pokemon battles just uh blasted out there. This is a youth athlete Hiromi. Uh, she's got a peck peck. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Don't say it like that, me. Uh, level 8, okay. So it's a good thing that I'm not messing around and bringing out some weaklings. I almost brought the Metapod out here just to get a little extra EXP. She's got Echoed Voice, but in a singles battle, that's not going to do much at all. Echoed Voice, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, the repetitive use and the doubling of use, like, round style um, will increase its damage but we ain't we ain't about that life little p little p man level 11 i'm still waiting on a new move hey there you go baby doll eyes another fairy move guys i'm feeling really confidently that um that this is a part fairy type eventually baby doll eyes lowers the attack stat and it always goes first so it's clearly just a better version of Growl, which does the exact same thing. So let's go with Baby Doll Eyes. Peck Peck grew to level four. We're gonna see some Goose grew to level four. Pichu's gonna Fritz grew to five. Coach Coach Chu grew to five and learned Tail Whip. So that was just an awesome battle. Everyone's getting getting a couple levels here. Getting a couple levels. If you use items or moves to boost your team's stats, you can increase how much damage your Pokemon deal and how much they take. If you ever want to be champion, then that's totally basic. You got that? Of course I got that, Hiromi. Good gracious. So we probably got someone hiding in a corner, maybe over in this, this general vicinity. I see someone over there. I gotta open this gate. It's, uh... It would appear that we got... He's going to teach me the tactics that he learned here at school. There's some grass beneath me, which is interesting. Normally, you don't see a lot of uh, tall grass inside cities. There are definitely some. Youngster Joey sent out a Metapod. So if he's just going to click Harden on me... Maximum Hardness, Metapod. But luckily, Poplio... Lil' P, man, hit him with that water gun. Easy. Yeah, he's just going to harden on me. Maybe this is going to be a lesson where they teach us about um, stat boosting in the middle of battle. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just a waste. Maybe you're just an idiot raising a Metapod by yourself. You have no other Pokemon. How is that going to help you succeed in this life? You're just going to lose every battle unless you win a struggle battle. He doesn't know about tactics and stuff because he hasn't been doing his homework. Then what could you possibly teach me? I already know more than you. Poisoning an opponent. Para uh, drain its HP, paralyzed to stop them from attacking. They can lose all kinds of different effects. So, 
So we do have an item down here in the tall grass. It's another antidote, which is kind of disappointing. But we can keep going this way. We've got another item. It's a paralyzed heal. Uh, let's see whether or not we get any fights in this tall grass. We do, and it's a Meowth, but it's white. Okay, so... Very cool. What level are you? Level 7, so I shouldn't kill you with a water gun. So let's smack him, because this is a very cool-looking Meowth, and I want to catch him and see what's going on. I took a lot of damage, but should be fine. I'm gonna hit, smack him with that Pokeball. Got him. <laughs> With the phone case to the face. Meowth got caught. Peck Peck, leveling up. Goose, leveling up. Fritz, leveling up. Coach Chew, leveling up. Excellent. And Meowth's data is getting added to the Pokedex. So is this just a female Meowth? Is that the thing that's going on here? Is that why it looks like this? Check out what kind of Pokemon it is that you just caught. Okay, so if you look at the bottom screen, it says Alola form there. And it says, when its delicate pride is wounded, or when its gold kind of forehead is dirtied, it flies into a hysterical rage. And one thing we're noticing is this is a dark type. So I guess, uh, I guess original 151 Pokemon have different forms in this game. And... Uh, and, and that changes their typing, which is interesting. So this Meowth, it also shows it can be a male or a female. Uh, and we're going to give it a nickname, yeah. Uh, we're going to call you Dolla... Oh, this is a female. I can still call you... I can, I can still call you... Dollars. Because he's got that cash money up on that forehead. Dollars is all about the cash money. Uh, let's let's see the summary. I'm, I'm curious. I really like that screen. That's a newbie. When you catch a Pokemon, it now offers you to send it straight to the PC right away, even if there's an open spot in your party. That is incredible. That is incredible. So we see that I'm starting with the bite. The ability is technician, which uh, is, I think. Pretty standard. Rash nature. Very cool. I mean, just honestly, really liking this. Let's, uh, for now... For now, let's add this to my party. Because there's no point in not having... Oh, no, I am full. I am full. Um, let's switch out Gulliver for now. Gulliver has a pretty wing. What would you like to do with... This is so cool. This is so cool. Let's place the pretty wing in my bag. And let's put uh, dollars in my party. Man, that is cool. I'm really impressed. Honestly, I'm really, really impressed with how they're... They're removing a lot of the... Just... Not problems with the game, but things that were just mild annoyances. And I... I I feel Game Freak doing that. They are very... They're wise to the... Oh, he won't battle unless I've battled everyone else here because he's the strongest. Don't pat yourself on the back too hard there. You'll fall right off. Whatever high horse that you're on. Are you... Yeah, this kid's ready to... Stand so close and I'll want to battle you, huh? Is that what you want? She likes to fight up close and personal. You have a fighting type? Preschooler Mia. This girl is aggro on me right now. But let's... Oh, she's got a Bonsley. Rock type. About to get crushed by this water type. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Bonsley's not rock type yet, right? No, it is. Interesting. So before it was showing me 
that it was super effective. Maybe I need to have it in my decks for it to tell me whether or not I know it's super effective or not. That is really, really cool. If I'm understanding that correctly. Because I remember in one of the battles in the last episode, we it showed us that a move was not very effective against the target. And the next time it showed that it was effective. And that was because it was a we were battling a Pichu. And so we already knew, I'm, I'm assuming that we already had it in the Pokedex, so we knew, because we'd seen it before, what its typing was, and therefore what it was weak to, or what was super effective against it. So, under that premise, ooh, we got a Quick Claw already, that's very cool. really early to be getting a quick claw uh i need to be making sure that i'm asking as many of these pokemon trainers as possible yeah i need to be asking as many many of these people as possible talking to them asking about items etc etc so um you know what we're gonna save the game here because it's important to save your game. I haven't done it in a while. We got some kids. Yeah, let's use Fake Out. Make your opponent flinch. Items. Something about Pokemon to hold. We've got an upstairs area here. This is a really big building. There's a third floor. I'm assuming she's not going to... Are you going to let me up? No, she just... Okay, so whether I talk to her or try and walk up those stairs, she she won't let me. This is a really big building, though. So we got a slowpoke there. Yawn can put someone to sleep, in case you guys didn't know. Yawn is an amazing move. Another room here. A little teacher at the front of the class. Teaching us about a Pikachu drawn on the backboard. Abilities. Uh, yeah, so abilities, guys, if you're not familiar with what abilities do, if you're new to Pokemon from really old school days when they didn't have abilities. Abilities are just special um, unique characteristics of a Pokemon that kind of change the way they battle just a little bit. So might make moves stronger, might make specific uh, moves against you less effective, uh, might change certain attributes of status effects, um, or provide you benefits or bonuses in unique circumstances or situations. So, uh, but it looks like every single other one of these people is not really giving us anything special. So that is that person just spoke about same type attack bonuses. He likes petting his Pokemon. Uh, this person likes to throw Pokeballs, and this one's talking about PP, so in, in Pokemon, as we all know, you can only use a certain move in battle so many times before you have to heal them, so you can't use it infinitely. This is to prevent battles from going on indefinitely if you have moves like that provide you recovery. So we've battled all of the trainers, we've learned as much as we can, and now we're ready to battle this gentleman here. And so we got this cool little, we're on the, you want to know why I want to be the strongest? Because it's cool to be strong, duh. Hey, listen, I'm about to teach you something. Welcome to the trainer school. It's more than that. It's about being friends with your Pokemon, Rising Star Joseph. You better have six po. He's only got one Pokemon and it's a Grimer, but, ooh, he's got a goatee, like a little chin strap. Like what's going on? But he is green instead of purple. So this must be in a Alolan form. I'll tell you what he won't like. Uh, he won't like getting hit by a water gun. Uh, he wouldn't mind getting hit by... by something else. He's just gonna pop me with a pound. The little pee, he ain't even worried. I ain't scared of this fool at all. Hit him with another water gun. It's gonna take two more to kill him. I'm gonna go with a poison gas. I'm hoping I don't get poisoned here. Oh no, that's exactly what poison gas does. It doesn't even do damage, it's just poison. Uh, but I think it's too little too late, Grimer. As we pop him with one more water gun and we slowly see him faint. And uh, we get a ding. Decent amount of experience that's gonna get shared with Herb Buddy. All of the friends. Fritz is going to grow to 7. 
Coach Chu to level 7. And that's it. Extremely strong. He's frustrated that I'm stronger than him, but that's just the way it is. But fine, whatever. I can admit when I'm beat. I'll even give you a reward. Take this TM. So we got a TM for workup. A great move that increases your attack and your special attack by one. And by great move, I mean not that great. You can use TMs as many times as you want on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't get worn well or used up. Pretty nice gift for me, huh? I'm glad that they still make that mention. That's a heart back to previous generations where using a TM used to actually use it up. So you only got one of them for a lot of those special TMs. That's the school bell. Attention all students. Would Geo please come to the office on the second floor? Ooh. I didn't do anything wrong here. Well, whatever. So, uh, and then at the bottom it says, getting called to the office already. Naughty boy, it's off to the second floor for you. So, uh, we're going to end the episode here. It's been a nice long half hour episode. So, hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Check back on the next episode 5 where we find out why we got called to the office. Ooh, as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.